Is the 05 Council Game Pass really worth it in SCP Roleplay? With how expensive the Game Pass is, obviously you'll get some very good benefits for it, right? Well, let's go see if that's correct and find out if it's worth its price. For any of you unaware, the O5 Council and SCP Roleplay is a purchasable Game Pass that comes with many great advantages. The perks of being an O5 include various new benefits that definitely add a whole lot of new opportunities to your gameplay. One benefit being a permanent minigun that absolutely devastates massive groups of people within a very quick time frame. And I believe most of you know by now, can be either very satisfying or very annoying to witness, depending on what side you're on. But before we get into the power of the O5 Game Pass, let's quickly go over on how to obtain it. Aside from the power you get, obviously another factor that goes into whether or not O5 is worth it is the price. The O5 Council Game Pass costs 2,500 Robux to obtain, which would cost $29.98 USD, not including taxes. However, the amount you need to invest can also differ, depending on whether or not you have Roblox Premium, and if you have any Robux already sitting around able to be spent. So, whatever means you obtain it through, now let's say you have the Robux, and you're ready to buy the Game Pass. But wait, are the O5 perks worth the overall price of 2.5 thousand Robux? Time to look more deeply into those benefits now, and let's see how good they really are. Now talking perks, as you can see on the O5 Game Pass, you'll be receiving many benefits to add on to your experience in the game. But to keep things more simple here in determining if the O5 Game Pass is worth it for you, we'll be looking at the benefits that really alter and enhance general gameplay and direct gunfights. And those two benefits would be 1. The Minigun, and 2. The Anomalous Perks. Let's break them both down. Minigun first. The Minigun has a half second wind up time before it can start firing. Though once it does start firing, it becomes an absolute monster, and it shoots 3,600 rounds per minute, with the body part multiplier being 11 damage to the head, 8 to the torso, and 6 to the limbs. And with the fastest fire rate in the game, on top of good, reliable damage, this gun allows you to kill people very quickly and mow down entire squads of people with ease, and do believe it is very satisfying. So let's go see more of its performance on the battlefield, so you can get a better idea of its massive power. Probably gonna be camping here. Um, that's surprising. Honestly, let's go get nine six out again. All right. Oh, you know. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Actually, I want to breach the crystals. Want and, me to breach it? So uh, I no. I, I'm better at touching people than you. Does that, that sound just weird? Sounds so wrong. <laughs> Come on, guys. Let's um celebrate our differences. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> you guys don't realize that you guys are screwed. Did they think I'm- they don't even know I'm in chaos! <laughs> These guys are idiots! Duke. No! I duped you so well. <laughs> I so well. Literally, they didn't realize I was chaos. They're all infected though. Now, after taking this information in, it's clear that the minigun is very good, and some people buy O5 just because of the minigun alone. After all, it is ranked the number one gun in the entire game, having the highest gun score out of every gun. But if being able to dominate massive groups of people is what you're looking for, and you're able to and are willing to pay the price, then the O5 Game Pass definitely seems like it'd be worth it for you. As on both foundation and hostile sides, you can own the entire server with a decent bit of skill, and you'll have a lot of fun with it. But don't get ahead of your yourself yet, as we still have one more absolutely amazing benefit to go over. One that can save you in many gunfights. That is, the Anomalous Perks. The Anomalous Perks are a series of five different selectable perks that have different effects and advantages. They can be selected and swapped between via the lockers in the O5 spawn. Do note you can only have one Anomalous Perk equipped at a time. I'll quickly go over all five different Anomalous Perks in the order of strongest to weakest for my opinion and playstyle, but technically all of them are good for different circumstances. Starting with Kratos, this Anomalous Perk allows you to run with no reduced movement speed while carrying any gun, including your minigun. This is a very strong effect when combined with RRT, because not only are you able to sprint with a minigun and all other weapons at the default running speed, but you will have an additional 10 or 15% increased running speed, depending on whether or not you have upgraded RRT. This is a very fun and a very powerful build to run, though even without RRT, especially on other teams like NU7, this is just a very good anomalous perk to run, as it just gives you a massive amount of mobility that others don't have. Plus you completely counter one of the most crippling downsides to the minigun 
minigun entirely. It's lack of mobility. And for those reasons, it's arguably the strongest, most powerful, and most reliable anomalous perk. Especially because it doesn't rely on RNG, which I will get to in just a second with the last three anomalous perks. Secondly, we have Juggernaut. This anomalous perk allows you to repair the durability of your vest whenever it is hurt. This means whenever your vest is broken, you won't need to die for it to be repaired. This is a fairly strong perk, and it's also the only second constant passive anomalous perk available out of the five next to Kratos. However, it is slightly weaker than Kratos due to the fact it's a less powerful effect and people can hit headshots where your vest doesn't protect you. So for those reasons, it's the second strongest perk in my opinion, though it can come in clutch whenever you're raiding or just taking heavy fire. Next, we have Anchor, and this anomalous perk gives you a 15% chance whenever someone shoots you for some of those bullets to do no damage. This is the first perk in our list that is RNG reliant, unlike Kratos and Juggernaut that have constant and reliable effects under a certain condition. However, similar to Juggernaut in the aspect of tanking damage, this is another perk that can save you if you're taking a lot of fire and if you are lucky enough for the 15% chance to come into play at the right time. Overall, still a powerful perk, but not as strong as Kratos or Juggernaut. Moving on, we have Reality Bender. This anomalous perk gives you a 10% chance whenever you're shooting someone for the bullet to inflict more damage. Now, you would think this is quite good on paper, and you are somewhat right, as this still can be a very powerful perk. But don't forget, if you're in 05, you have a minigun, and you've already seen how quickly that kills people, so for that reason, it's not really an anomalous perk that you need in many circumstances. And compared to the mobility that a perk like Kratos has, or the utility that a perk like Juggernaut has, it makes Reality Bender one of the lower tier anomalous perks. Finally, last but not least, we have Beacon. This anomalous perk gives you a 10% chance when shooting an enemy to heal back health based on the amount of damage you dealt. This anomalous perk really isn't good compared to everything else. Beacon is really just a bad version of Anchor, because Anchor has a 15% chance to activate, and Anchor simply blocks the damage, rather than healing it back after having been injured. At the end of the day, it's obviously better than not having any anomalous perk at all, but this one is definitely the weakest out of the five, and if you want more survivability, then Anchor is massive better for you. Alright, so wrapping us up on the anomalous perks, we've just went over the two major benefits to the O5 Game Pass that heavily alters your gunfights and gameplay experience. And do keep in mind some of the other, smaller benefits to having O5, such as being able to request and be guarded by Alpha 1, and announcement ability, among other, smaller perks. But now it's time. Time to answer the big question. Is the O5 Game Pass worth it? The answer to that is, it depends on you. You've heard and have seen the great benefits in ACK, you know the price, and to know what it has to offer now. The only real question is, are the perks worth the price to you? Take into account factors such as, how much Robux do you have, and are able to get? How often do you play SCP Roleplay? Do you even really want any of the benefits included in the O5 Game Pass? Consider those factors and determine if it's worth it for you, because some people don't think it's worth paying 30 plus dollars for the O5 Pass. And if that is you, then simply don't buy it. In that case, O5 isn't worth it for you. It's not a Game Pass for everyone. If you don't think the benefits are worth the price, then once again, just don't buy it. But if you are a player who has the means to buy O5, who enjoys and plays the game very frequently, who also wants a bit more gameplay opportunities, then obviously you're going to get a lot of use and a lot of enjoyment from the O5 Game Pass. And in that case, then O5 is totally worth it for you. O5 grants you very amazing gameplay benefits and advantages, and O5 is definitely worth it from a gunfight standpoint. And in the end, the only downside to it is its price. But if you very frequently play the game, the entertainment and experience the Game Pass gives you will definitely make it worth that price. Thank you guys for watching. I'm just getting back into the SCP and genre on Roblox, and I can still see SCP Roleplay is definitely a success, as it has been for the past few years. And I'm really looking forward to making more SCP Roleplay content. Subscribe to make sure you keep up with my future uploads. And if you guys enjoyed this, please comment to let me know what other SCP Roleplay content you'd like to see next. Whatever you guys want, I'll be doing it for you. See you guys in the containment zone.